Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. So as the name of this video suggests, we're having a quick mooch around Stockport today, looking at some features that were found, mainly railway, not as long video, but uh, Liam's here. Liam's from Stockport, so he's gonna be our guy for the day. Hey guys. We've also got behind the camera, we've got James there and we've got Roy, and Roy's gonna be keeping an eye on things. Okay, so this week, a little bit of railway stuff around Stockport, so it's local for me. But actually, even though I only live about 10 miles north of Stockport, I never feel confident around Stockport. It's not a, not a town that I know very well, to be honest with you. Anyway, bit of a mooch, bit of railway stuff, and a bit of something else extra. So let's zoom in on where we are. We're down on the banks of the River Mersey. So that's where we are, just on that little beach there if you call, want to call it a beach, above the E of River Mersey. Let's zoom in a little bit more here. Right, there's an old bridge abutment there, and you can see there's been there's some old railway lines here. So, without further ado, we're going to fly the drone across the river, take a look at this bridge abutment. So the first railway feature is just over there, the remains of an old viaduct. Now, the sun's shining directly at the camera, so you might not be able to see it very well. See if I can get a better shot of it for you. But it's part of the old railway line that went through Stockport, um, so I'll try and, it's actually beautiful. Anyway, I'll get you some shots of it. So back on our side of the river is another bridge abutment and it's not exactly on the same skew as the one I've just shown you and it's a little bit further down so it doesn't match so it's indicative that there may have been two bridges here so I suddenly on the day got very confused and had to look at the old maps. Okay, so what was going on here? Let's take a look. Let's go to Rail Map Online. Let's leave Google Earth, go to Rail Map Online. A great resource, Rail Map Online. And where are we? We're roughly around this area here, aren't we? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to flick a button and it's going to bring on all the old historic railways. Let's flick that button. Um, there you go. There you go. So we've got our bridge abutment there where the X, the top part of the cross is there. It went across the Mersey there, and then we've got the another line that crosses it there. What were these called? See, because you got I get confused with these because back in the day it was all British Rail to me. So if I click on that, it was the um, what they're saying, the Glazebrook to Woodley Cheshire Lines Committee route. Okay, and that came that way over the Mersey. So there's one bridge there, and then the yellow line. Let's see what that was. That was the Chorley to New Mills Midland Railway, okay? And I think the red line actually went underneath the yellow line. You've got all these yards here. Now, clock these yards, these railway yards, and you'll see that the railway goes through this way, through the centre of Stockport. So we're going to pick out some bits that we're going to look at along this route here. So we've started here. Um, clock all these yards because these have all long since gone we're going to pick out a little bit here around the centre of Stockport and you'll see the, the line went through this way over the River Tame there and then went that way and into a, a another tunnel here up in Brinnington so we'll see what we can find along the route and there you go a wonderful picture that shows how it all was furthest away from us on the left hand side of the Mersey you can see our skew bridge you can see how it went, and then we're in the foreground here, top right. You can see the abutment of the bridge we've just looked at. But that's a great picture, shows the uh, shows the arrangement of the bridges. And then here's a picture now showing some traffic going across. That's dated 17th of July, 1954. And then finally, we've got uh, a picture of them being pulled down. Um, no date on this one. Now, I know people will watch this and knew how this was, was all laid out but as a uh, someone that's not familiar with this this part of Manchester I had to do a little bit of digging to find out what was going on but we turned up some great pictures in doing so right Liam yeah thanks to the Mersey I've seen that bit of a beautiful bit of a skew 
bridge so there. Bridge. Yeah, that's yeah. the bridge. So we're going down now into Stockport. Into Stockport towards Tiviotdale Station. Towards Tiviotdale Station. Indeed. Right. And a place I think we've been before. I've done some videos here before because it's near the where the team and the goit meet. So let's crack on. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Sideways and backwards. The website, Britain from above, the date 1948. Top of the uh, picture, you'll see our bridge arrangement there, way in the distance. And here's Stockport revealing itself. And there's all those yards. Do you remember from the rail map online uh, maps? There's all those railway uh, yards. And that's quite a picture, that. Look at that chimney on the left-hand side, belching out. I think by the Mersey there, near that chimney, we have a brew in a bit. I'm not quite sure. Almost near there, that's where we have a brew. But that... Obviously, from going to a map to reality, that's a great picture. Anyway, let's go and take a look at Tiviot Dale Station. So this little green area we're in now, I'll do a pan round and I'll show you an old photograph of how it used to be. This was the entrance to Tiviot Dale Station round here. Completely unrecognisable now, completely unrecognisable. I'll show you where... I'll show you how it is now and I'll show you how it was. Amazing pictures of the old Tiviotdale station, but uh, it's, I mean, I went down there and I cannot orientate myself to how this was, but it's just unrecognisable beyond any, beyond belief, to be honest with you. Bit of a, a photo there of the actual station, and we're going to walk down now in throughout all the undergrowth down to the station, and I think there is a platform still here. It's the bay platform, I think, that's still left. As we go through these sort of woods, it's difficult to uh, believe that this round here was all railway and was a station. But well, as is always the case with these um, disused railway lines, and then we've actually got a platform here, I'll show you. Right, so there you go, bit of a platform. That is right in the middle of the tracks, and that's a fair bit of growth on that, so it's at least a... wonder when this place was abandoned, they'll look it up for you. But apparently there's more features just up ahead. Liam's got a date for us, when did it close? 2nd of January 1967. 2nd of Jan 1967, two days before I was born. So that tree mm, is actually a bit younger than me. You know you're getting old when there's old trees younger, younger than, than you don't yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it's a new you going to get to I think it's more you. I think I will. <laughs> Breathe in. Such Breathe a dainty thing. James, you're going to struggle with that. You are going to struggle, boy. All them steps. Bum, bum, off. Bum, 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 bum. Where's the tuba player? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's done it. He's done it. Oh, such a slim little thing, isn't it? <laughs> slim and petite. Right, yeah. what I want to do is show you now, we're actually on the abandoned railway line, which is there, where this fence is. But look what, what they've done, what they've put here. Look over here. Just, can you go? The M60 motorway, the Manchester Outer Ring Road. Even if they wanted to reinstate this line, they couldn't because there's a motorway in the way. If you can hear me above the motorway, this was a bridge that went across the uh, Tame. Literally joins the Goit just there. Bridge went across, we're right on the edge here. I'm not going near the edge, no head for heights. Goit's going to get you a shot, then I'm going to get you a view of this from the other side over there.
This picture, dated 1979, shows how the railway went through the centre of Stockport. It's changed massively since then. A uh, bit of a class 40 there going through, pulling some trucks through the centre of Stockport. And then this next picture, which is just dated 1980s and I think early 80s, demonstrates how the track bed ra- where the track bed ran and how the motorway was built kind of right next to it. Um, as we will see in a bit, um, the motorway works had a detrimental effect on some of the railway infrastructure, particularly the tunnels. Um, so we're going to walk up to a, a tunnel now. We're backtracking now on ourselves. Well, Liam says there's another feature just up here that we're going to show you. Have you... Uh, have we got stuff for a brew? Yeah. Sorted us out with the dessert as well. <laughs> no, no, you haven't. He's joking because I've sorted out the dessert today. So you know all the normal uh, reductions? Well, we're not having them today. <laughs> we're having pure luxury. Anyway, cracking on. So what's that, Liam? Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick recap for you. This is National Libraries of Scotland maps. Left hand map is a map dated early 1900s. Right hand is the modern satellite view. We've kind of jumped, let's have a look, let's have a look. We've kind of jumped now and we looked at what was left of Teviotdale Station. Teviotdale, it's spelt there. I keep coming across these two spellings, so if anyone can stop from Stockport can enlighten me. But there's the, um, I showed you off the edge of the bridge there, which was uh, the Tame, comes through there. We looked off the edge of the bridge. This is all overgrown, as you've just seen. And then what happens is we go in here, we're going to take a look at this uh, tunnel here. This is the Tiviotdale Tunnel, and we're going to take a look through here, um, th- there. And if you look at the right-hand map, you'll see how close we are to the M60 motorway, as you can tell from all the noise we've just had. Church up there, an old church and a school up there, and that's um, there's something in this tunnel that will uh, I can show you. <clears throat> tunnel comes out around about here into a cutting and we're going to take a look, look at something interesting down here uh, but all the time we're right at the side of the motorway so there you go from Tiviotdale walking backwards into a tunnel we're going to take a look there and it looks like the gate's open so Liam's found us another tunnel eh? We've got a gate open. So was this a railway tunnel, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is part of Tiviotdale. This is. Welcome to uh, Tiviotdale Tunnel. Um, partially filled in now, probably with a lot of debris from the motorway works. Maybe, maybe. Now, clock something here. See where the concrete is butted up to the steel. As the camera comes back round, look at that steel there. And you'll see there's a, a brick arch in the distance. I want you to clock that. I'm going to show you a picture. The date, the 12th of March, 1978. The loco, class 40129. It's on an engineer's train. Now, I've been allowed to use these pictures by a gentleman named Arnie Furness, who was the guard on that train. The story goes that the train barely moved more than half a mile over that day when they were working. It must have been maybe a weekend. And the crew got out and were hanging about for the engineers to do the work. And there's uh, the gentleman there on the remains of the platform, which we've just walked down, believe it or not, in all the undergrowth, and then climbed up over the top of that tunnel and gone in. And that's why I wanted you to clock that steel at the top. Yeah, the gentleman there on the right is the driver, Jimmy Maddox, apparently. And like I say, the guard was Arnie Furness, and I want to thank him for allowing me to use this picture. There's more, there's another one of these, and I'll show you in a bit when we come out of the tunnel at the other end. But I just thought that was a, a cracking shot on the difference and of the all the undergrowth you've just seen and the way we climbed up to the top of the tunnel and then looking at it there all those years ago. And the little story of the driver, I thought it was a, it was a great shot. As you can see, shot in the 60s, so it probably would have, would have been like in the late 60s, mid early 70s. As you can see, filled in. Uh, see the start of the arch there. I just put the uh, torch on that bit again. Now, apparently, during the construction of the motorway, which you've seen just next door, there was extensive damage caused to uh, the Tiviotdale tunnel. 
See how the brick works? It's sort of collapsed here, right? Yeah. So we've got a bit of erosion there on the brickwork. And then so when you're normally getting it, if you're not normally the other getting end, it, well, it's open and closed. Okay, let me get that torch. I think back. it's just one of them that if you turn up and the gate's open, you can get in. Because I've been in, I've been a few times and it's been uh, shut. Oh, so yeah. this is this opposite torch straight into it. Socked and diesel stained on the on the roof. You see, it's been filled in. Usual, they're always dry and dusty these places. Right, interesting stuff. The shrubbers of houses above them. Yeah, it does. Because it's a massive church and church and churches and houses all above. It's got gel in it above. So you'll notice something interesting coming up above. That's a strengthener. Um, because apparently there's buildings, there's a church and some houses and buildings up ahead. Wow. Yeah, stand in the middle of it, so we're both central. Right, like a bit you point the torch behind you. Yeah, I'm there. Put the torch behind your back, point straight behind you. Actually. Ready? Yeah. Look at the camera. I've been watching the documentaries about mountains. And about steep as this. Well, they say walking zigzags. Yeah. Just like you, James. You've been a awesome house, haven't you, James? <laughs> so this is quite unusual. I've never seen this before in a railway tunnel, and I've been in a few railway tunnels, but this uh good thing is I'm going to put this here uh, to strengthen the tunnel. Quite unusual. So it's all steel. Uh, it looks wood in some of the pictures because you have seen pictures of this, but it's all steel, and like I say, it supports the uh, the, the roof. Yeah. Uh, because there's houses and there's a church above here. So you see the sandstone wall there, well we're inside there. Tunnel must have got damaged due to the construction of the motorway. Buildings above, that frames in there to stabilise the whole thing. But yeah, the wall is where we are. You can see all the wooden slats in the ceiling there, the, that are keeping this thing all rigid and so if, like I say, I've never seen this before. So yeah, we've got to some sleeper arrangement there. Where the sleepers were. And uh, yeah, like, uh, like I say, they're all along here. See the, uh, see the wood again there, just holding it all in place. And it's, uh, it's a bit worse for wear. It's a bit rusty and everything, but I uh, suppose it stays fairly dry down here. All right, so we've got uh, a refuge here. I'll just go over here. So you can see the red sandstone. That's very commonplace in uh, Stockport. Uh, and there's a refuge just cut into the... Uh, cut into the rock there. But a fair bit of uh, erosion going on here. Oh, yeah. See the whole whole faces of bricks lo loose. Oh, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, Liam's. Is it the, you know? the mountain. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem. Yeah. So we're filled in again here now with a load of uh, sand. See the boys up there. So just get up there. So that's where we've come from. We're going onwards. Watch your head on there, James. Stupid. Watch your head. Yeah. Stay in the middle because the ground that higher. Yeah. Stupid rain. End of the tunnel. I don't know, but 
Well, we get, they all get out here and walk back to the car. We've got to commit to it. Yeah, sit on it first. Now, it was easy to climb out here. The issue was there was vandal paint, and I'm trying to get out without getting vandal paint all over me. So that's the issue. Uh, the boys had a unique solution. They just stripped off. Sit on that beam. Is that a bit on? A bit, but don't hold that. Well, there you go. Uh, Liam, what? That was unique. Is that that? Yeah. See the film coming out. James is coming through now. <laughs> right, the, tun the tunnel's going to give birth. Sure James is going the wrong way. I'm small. Well, that's his head. <laughs> So that's that ordeal done with. Okay, so opposite side of the tunnel, and now I'm going to go back to one of Arnie's photos, uh, and this picture is taken from this side of the tunnel looking back down the track. Okay, so same day, um, 12th of March, 1978, and 41290 has crept now through the tunnel on its engineer's train, and it's actually static there. Uh, and again, Arnie's took a shot. You'll see the church above that I showed you before when I showed you the shot on the motorway. There's the church. And there's another little story attached to this one. So apparently there were some young spotters, train spotters watching from above or around and about. Shouted down to the crew, can we cab it, mister? If you don't know what cabin it is, that means taking a look inside the cab of the locomotive. Something that I did many, many times. And the answer was from the crew on that day, yeah, of course you can, lads. And down they went. I don't know how they got down into that cutting, but they went down and uh, cabbed the loco. I suppose the crew were a bit bored because uh, it must have been boring for the crew as this train crept along. But there you go, another story. And thank you, Arnie, for letting us use those pictures. Let's crack on. Ow! Right, here we go again. I just about got my belly through, James. I don't think you're going to make it. You lost weight? <laughs> yes, eh? Car a control dial. <laughs> you lost weight, though, yeah? No. <laughs> nice little street here, uh, Cobble Street. Sure, Lowry painted one similar to this in uh, Stockport. And then Roy's doing the death, the death climb. It's one behind you. So we're going to somewhere now, comes into the sandstorm. So while we're here, uh, we've come out of the tunnel. We've come to a famous Stockport Explore that I've seen loads of videos on, but never actually been to. This is the Dodge Hill Air Raid Shelters. All cut uh, out of sandstone by hand, obviously back in the 19, thir late 30s, 1930s. I don't know ex the exact date, but we'll take a look inside here. It's a set of tunnels. We'll go in and I'll show you, but every, every, every man and his dog's been in here, apart from me, so it's about time I came here. We're right side of the motorway here, uh, a bit of a dodgy way to get in, but uh, let's go and take a look, see if they're open. Come on, lad. Breathe in. Is he safe in here? Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so dignified. Grab a torch. Go stand up. Yeah. yeah. Grab a torch. Okay, Dodge Hill. Uh, air raid shelters. Um, quite impressive to look at. There's all pick marks in the ceilings and everything all done by hand but this uh, this red sandstone is quite workable what i've heard it has been backfilled so there's not a great deal to see here tell the pit marks where they've dug it out and like i say not a great deal to see just goes down here all the local youths came in here all uh, a lot of uh, urbexes have been in here and then as you get here they're basically injecting it with concrete and uh, that's the end of that um, a bit of a crawl there, let's have a look. No, it's not going on. very far. Go, yeah. right now. It is. There, so there you go, that's all that's left of them. 
So I'm a little bit late to the party, to be honest with you, because they went on for quite a way and there was a, a bit like a maze. I think there was an entrance out on the street and then, like I say, the entrance that we've just got in there by the side of the motorway. Uh, that's all there is to see, but I just wanted to show you them because they were here. Um, show you the pit marks, show you the red sandstone, and that's it. There's not a lot else to see here, to be honest with you. When they were fully open, you could get through. There were all the old beds, all the old bunk beds in, in there, but like I say, they've injected it with concrete now, so we can't go any further. Right, you Talking to meals. <laughs> so he's got to come down there now. It's not a great deal, but it's awkward. Oh, my slide down and then just slide off. It's easy. I did it. Good boy. We're all thirsty. I think it's time for a brew. What do you reckon, James? Brew time. Right, so we're having a brew, and you know how no normally James, so just by the River Mersey here, by the way, uh, we've been here before. Um, you know how James normally is the one that uh, provides all the treats and stuff, but we always get reduced treats. We always get something knocked down price that's going out of date tomorrow or in about an hour. Well, today, I bought the treats and um, Quality, that's all I'm saying. Remember what I taught you? Pull it from the top. No, all right, don't down. Them, James. Right, that'll do. See how much you've got. Watch it when you pour it. Have you got a spoon? Yeah. Spoon. Oh, wow. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Right, you ready for the big reveal for what we're having? Portuguese tarts. Oh, is it the Portuguese? Yeah. You pay about uh, £4 each for these in a coffee shop, £2 at Tesco. Uh, more like an egg custard, to be honest with you. Forget a Portuguese towel, egg cu it's fancy a, egg custard. It's a skinny egg custard. Yeah. James? Portuguese <laughs> tarts, what do you reckon? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely an Asda or an old base one. Watch him, he'll try and get yeah, the biggest one now. <laughs> no, exactly. Oh, hey. The pastry's right, flaky, isn't it? Water them, aren't they? Can you see us? That's better. James rather get in there for snacks for a bit. Quality, proper quality. So up there, uh, that bridge came across here, railway line came across there and went that way. But obviously the motorway is there now. Now you may have seen, I've done a video in Stockport before, but I'll just show you down here is the team. And up here it meets the Goy like I said, I've shown this before, but I'll show you in case you didn't watch that video. Run, Liam, run! Oh dear. <laughs> Come over here. The goit is here. And right here, the Mersey's born. There you go. So, if anyone didn't watch my previous video on Stockport, where the team and the Goit meet, the Mersey's born. It's actually born here in Stockport. Spends a lot of its time going through South Manchester and Cheshire, and then finally gets over to Liverpool, where it's a big, big estuary down there. Liam, you're going to take us to another tunnel? I'm going to take you to another tunnel, yeah. And there should be some sleepers as well on the floor. Really? Under all the undergrowth, yeah. Just lined up, you see where all the uh, rail lines were. Right. Yeah, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Have I got a dirt on it? Well, you put your head back. Vandal grease on his head. You see the yeah. vandal paint there? <laughs> Just I hate vandal, vandal paint. paint. Yeah. Didn't do a good well, job then again, though. keeps that vandals like us out, doesn't it? <laughs> So we're following the railway line now in the northeasterly direction out of Stockport. As you can see, we're going to go through quite a green area. And along this, this uh, the line is now like a, a cycle path, footpath. Um, and along the way is these signs that uh, mark the track and the track bed and accounts from people that were around at the time that remember the railway line and a nice photograph there of how it used to look.
We're just taking a bit of a detour off the trap bed. Liam tells us there's something nice down here, is it? It's uh, something very nice. You should hear it soon as well when you get closer. Right, I'm looking forward to it. The ambiance. It's the uh, River Tame, is it? Uh, I believe it is, yeah. The, the same, this. Okay, so where are we off to and where are we? Well, here's the old maps. Uh, we're heading towards an area called Brinnington, and if you look there as we, we slowly zoom in, it says Weir. So look at sewage works at the top and then come down, it says Weir, and that's on the River Tame. No indication as to any mills or anything that were in the area, so they must have long since gone. So we'll take a look at that Weir, and then if you come down from the Weir, you'll see the line splits. Uh, and then we're going to follow it, it's branched to the right, and you'll see it says Tunnel. Uh, where well, it says Brinnington House, above that it says Tunnel, that's the Brinnington Tunnel, which is now a, a, a cycle path, a walkway, so we'll take a look at that Brinnington, Brinnington Tunnel as well. But first of all, the weir. Oh, would you like a weir? This is called Harrison's Weir, and we're on the Tame, River Tame here. Yeah. So there you go, this is the Brinnington Tunnel. We'll take a walk through here, see what it's like on the other side. Was it? Yeah, because he used to set the footpath round it for years. It was all blocked off. What have we got, Liam? Sleepers all the way along here. Oh, yeah? All the way along. Concrete. Concrete sleepers. Wow. So there, this is probably that's probably one side. This is the other side, and we've left the sleepers down. Right, so journey's end. Did. Where's this go to, Liam? Because this is a little pathway now that carries on, and it where's it go to? Yes, the line would carry on up towards the Hope Valley line at Woodley. And then just after Woodley, it would branch off and then go on towards the Godly turntable. The Godly turntable? Indeed. We've done a video on that. So yeah, so back that way there is a little walk, cycle, walkway there. Been a lovely day for it. Um, James and, we'll say goodbye to James and uh, Roy. James, have you enjoyed yourself? Been good, yeah, enjoyed it. He doesn't like going anywhere twice. No. <laughs> so has it been new stuff for you? Yeah, it's been really nice, cool stuff. I never knew I'd all this in Stockport. There you go. Roy's there keeping an eye on things. Education. Just a short move around Stockport. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. See you in the next video. See you guys.